I'm now going to show you how you can uh, reuse sections of project uh, to quickly reassemble new projects. Um, so we're going to create these as macros. So what I'm going to do is start by windowing around a section and showing the, how quick and easy this is. Uh, I missed out. I'm going to hit control and select that. So I'm just going to drag that selection and drop it onto a menu folder for the symbols. So I'm going to drop it onto a macros and call it RDOL. And that's now a circuit which I could reuse on another page. So if I create a new page, then I could place that on the page. Now, I could also take the uh, the power rails, so I could select those. Now, if I drop those onto the side, I probably want those to appear on the same page, uh, same position on the page every time. So what I can actually do is right-click on the symbol menu, go to Properties, and I can find a symbol in the System catalog. So I scroll down for System, and I'm going to turn that on. Now, yours may not be on at the moment, so you need to switch that on. And then you can go down to System, and you'll see a symbol origin, which is available. I'm going to right click and copy that symbol. And then up in my custom macros, I'm going to right click and say on that one, I'm going to right click and paste it. So I'm going to click on symbol origin and I'm going to place that if I hit space at zero tab zero. So I use the space bar to bring up the position and right in the bottom corner, I've now got this little icon. So I'm going to hold down control and select that as well. So I've now got the symbol origin and the item selected. I'm going to drag those onto the macros and we'll call that rails. When I click to place these, you can see I'm holding this in the bottom left hand corner. So if I went to the new page, click on rails, I can now hit space and type zero tab zero. And I know that's in the right position. I can just OK or I can even cancel on those and bring up the same ID for every one of those. I could do the same thing for the motor starters and place those in and they'll come in and it will prompt me for the important bits and place that automatically. Um, as well as just placing circuits or selecting circuits at individual items, I can also group them so they stay together. So if I window around this circuit again, right click and say block. I can now block this as a group and now I click it anywhere on this and the whole group of selected items get selected. I can drag that onto the side and call it RDOL grouped and now when I go to a new page I can place that in and I'll get prompted but the end result is that I'm linking those up with the relays that have already connected um, but the end result is that the whole circuit can be selected and moved at once. Now, in this case, the relay contacts are not joining with the uh, the coils. So, in fact, what I should really be doing, if I just explode that again and select once more all of these items, let me just do it from uh, down here. Hold down Control, and what I'll do is block this as a group, drop this onto the menu, and call it RDOL plus contact us. So now when I go onto this page, I can quickly build up the project, place these down, and you can see that the software there is linking in with the next available relay coils. So a very quick and easy way of building up new projects based on options or main circuits.